Happy Almost Canada Day. Tomorrow's July 1st and we're leaving for nationals in Ottawa. Taylor competes on Tuesday, Wednesday. I compete on Saturday, so it's go time. Uh, it's hard to believe that we're here already, but uh, we are and I'm very excited. Uh, today I am doing my last lift before nationals. So um, I'm gonna take you through that. Uh, it's not gonna be as heavy as, as it has been the past few weeks. Uh, I just kinda wanna keep it light, feel crisp, feel explosive. Just kinda do the things uh, that are gonna put me in a good headspace and make me feel like I'm ready to go. As they say, the hay is in the barn. Okay, I'm gonna get started. Um, so I start off with some physio exercises just to get everything around my knee kind of firing, warmed up, strengthened, ready to go. Um, and then I'll take you through it. All right, so first up, I have some squats uh, superset with knee recovery jumps. I have 225 on there right now. We're gonna see how that feels. Uh, I might just leave it there. Again, I just kinda wanna feel explosive. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. It is wicked hot, like melting hot. Um, so just some between set wisdom. Something that I've noticed coming off of injury is that I find that I'm a lot more deliberate. Um, I haven't really had any practices this season where you know, I'm going through the motions and just doing something for the sake of doing it because I know how precious each day is when this guy, he's like, why don't you vlog? Why don't you ever vlog? Why am I the only one who ever vlogs? And I try to vlog. Hey everybody. Okay, so I was just saying that even when I'm warming up, and if I'm just doing like A's or B's, like I'm really focusing on what I'm doing because I know that I don't have any time to waste. So I feel like that's been a really helpful kind of outlook change coming off of injury. I've just been a lot more deliberate. And uh, hopefully that will prevent me from getting injured in the future, right? getting way, way, way too hot. Can you see? I'm like glistening, I look like a freaking bodybuilder, but only because I'm drenched in water. You know it's hot when my half bun becomes a double bun. And also, I don't like wearing colored shorts because I hate sweating through them and I literally picked the worst day of the year that I could do that. So, good job, Caro. Um, so, right now I am doing um, some plyo push-ups 
uh, super set with a dumbbell row and catch. So basically you just pull it up like really hard and kind of like uh, lose contact with it for a second. Um, and then uh, I would usually follow up my lift with my foot physio exercises, but uh, I'm running out of time and I have a haircut. I should probably shower first. So I'm gonna go um, to that haircut and then do my foot physio exercises after. So maybe I'll film those because they're actually quite helpful and regardless of whether or not you're injured, it's good to have a strong foot because it is the basis and foundation of everything. So just thinking out loud here. So, had a really good lift today, feeling really excited to compete next weekend, got a haircut, so I'm nice and aerodynamic, and now we're just packing, or trying to pack, it's a work in progress, um, and we're off tomorrow morning, so thanks for tuning in, um, are you going to nationals? What events are you doing? Are you going to watch? If you live in Ottawa and you're not competing, you should really go watch. It's going to be pretty awesome. Um, yeah, we'll give you guys an update when we get there. It's the last you'll be seeing of this guy for a little while as he goes into a kennel here in London while we're gone. I don't like to talk about it. Okay, bye.